Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about, you don't see very many of them very often, a 58 Ford Fairlane 500 two-door hardtop. I will give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, a 1958 Ford Fairlane 500 Victoria, which is the hardtop, which is really, really a, a real few and far between car. Don't see them very often. Never understood that. I'm kind of a 58 Ford fan. I've liked them all my life. But yeah, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to show you the engine compartment. We're going to do a cold start. We're going to do a walk around, give you all the details of this really, really well done automobile. And again, as I said, it's something that you don't see very often. Now you can also click on the link in the description and it will take you right to this car, give you all the information on the car, the pricing, and uh, you can also look at and find our website address at that spot. It is at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com where you're going to find close to 100 classic and collectible cars and trucks from all ages, from the 1920s all the way up into the 1970s and beyond. So if you're looking for something that fits into your collection or if you're a first time buyer or the hundredth time buyer we probably have something that will intrigue you needless to say but let's get into the the details of this really neat car 1958 kind of a tough year for a lot of car manufacturers they all had some little bit of uh, economy uh, downturns if you will and uh, the other big thing that they were trying to come out with was the new quad headlights that was the big deal for 1958 I mean they were trying to do that for assorted reasons for different looks uh, supposedly uh, better lighting for whatever you had the high beam low beam I mean once you had four headlights on boy you had some good good lighting going down those old dark country roads especially at nighttime now this particular car was always a V8 car, but it does have a little bit of an upgrade. It's got a 390 big block Ford in it. Take a look at that engine compartment. Boy, is that well done. And on top of that, it's got some of those extra accessories that you and I know were kind of spoiled. <clears throat> Almost every car we have has to have power steering and power brakes. Well, those are two items that were added to this car that make it really, really nice to drive. The other thing, of course, that makes it nice to drive is the fact that it has the radial tires. Radial tires is, again, one of the biggest improvements that you can ever have on these classic and collectible cars. Now, they pro perhaps have the uh, American racing wheels, not what it came with in 1958, but boy, that sure looks period correct if you ask me. Beautiful paint on this car, uh, Indian turquoise with the uh, colonial white top. Very, very nice color combination. Very reminiscent of that era, 1958. I think going down the side of the car, that was another one of the big trends to have the chrome strips and have an aluminum anodized uh, strip down the middle. Really adds just a real, real classy look going down the side of the car. I mean, we always talked about that the 58 Fords kind of had some stuff taken from the T-Birds, you know, with the air intake. Again, remember, we're always looking at, they're looking, wanting the cars look like they're going down the road fast when they're sitting still and everything was going towards jet airplanes and rocket ships and whatever, all in the late 50s. And Ford, of course, was right on the bandwagon with everybody else. Ford had a 1958, of course, was the year that they made the four-seater Thunderbird, which doubled their sales and they came out with a 1958 Edsel. You know, some people had a hard time trying to figure out what the new Ford was gonna look like. I think it came out really well. Beautiful chrome on this car all the way around. Beautiful trim that goes down the side as well. Remember the hoods on Fords open this way. That's always one of those things. Uh, I just seen that in some commercials, some guys trying to open a car and it's like, no, it opens this way. No, take a look at the inside of this car. Another nice thing, someone has really done a great job. Looks very stock for the most part, but they've added some nice touches to give it that personalized look, if you will. The interior being a white and turquoise interior, vinyl bench seat, all the, the dash and everything as well. 
even in the back seat it says Fairlane 500. Just kind of one of those little touches of class, if you will. Automatic transmission in this thing. The cruise o uh, I'm looking at it. It's really nice. They haven't really done anything to cobble up. I guess that's what cobble up the dash. Has original speedometer. They do have a three set of uh, aftermarket gauges to give you a little more idea of what's going on under the hood in terms of performance and, and uh, just the way the car is operating. Steering wheel, nice, nice shape. Horn rings, good. Uh, another got mirrors on both sides. Of course, everything back in 1958 was an option. You had to check off the box if you wanted to have a passenger side mirror. You had to check off the box if you wanted to have skirts. Well, guess what? This one doesn't show it right here, but the set of skirts are in the trunk. And talk about a nice trunk. Boy, you've got room for, if not one, two sets of golf clubs for sure. Nicely detailed and very clean. Uh, also has dual exhaust, I guess, with that 390 motor. Give it that really, really good sound. And another reason, like I said, want to watch this video from start to finish because we're going to have that cold start and hear how nice this car actually sounds. Very, very nice. Um, I like the, the other thing that was kind of a throwback is they have the antenna in the middle of the trunk. It just is just something that you'll see on many of the 50s cars, Fords in particular, even Studebakers and other makes did as well, but I kind of think that's kind of a neat deal. Love the tail lights, you know, it was, it was a big change for Ford. They, I mean, they had come from the 57. Again, it's one of those cars that has to grow on you, and I think that's what it's done to me over all the years I've been around them. I guess uh, the other place that you can find all our information is on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate that very much. It's always good to have all the information on this car, our current inventory, and cars that we have sold in the past as well. So if you're out on the internet or on those websites, whatever, there's going to be some interesting car stuff that you'll find on the Ellingson uh, Motor Car sites. No, it's just one of those really neat cars. You don't see very many of them. You go to the local car shows or whatever, don't see many 58 Fords. I just like something a little different than everybody else has. And you know, Fords are, in my world, a little bit more reasonably priced for a very nicely done car. And it came out of Arkansas. I guess I should always say that because people go, is that car from Minnesota? Oh, that's going to be a rusty car. No, this car came out of a uh, Arkansas location. Look at the underside, nice and clean. Someone had owned the car for quite a number of years and taken really good care of it. And so it's not a rusty Minnesota car. It's a very nice car. Um, so anyway, if you're like me, maybe you want to say, you know, I got to come down. I'm going to have to go to Ellingson's. I got to look at this car in person. Well, we'd love to have you come. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you need to come down, take a closer look, Get your hands on it and make sure that it's real. It is real. Uh, come on down to Ellingson's. We'd love to have you come. You can also give us a call anytime. We're happy to discuss any questions you may have. We can help you with shipping. We can help you with all the details, whatever. We can even help you uh, work on arranging financing as well. So if you're looking for something new to add to your collection, by golly, we have a really neat one sitting right here on the sales floor at Ellingson's. Thank you again for watching and hope to see you next time at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com.